Hey, 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 hey. Let's vote, Kakers. It's time to vote for some new cards. Let's make sure we're setting up a nice deck and voting for cards that will synergize well and cards that will help us out if we get into a bind. Let's take a quick look up and down the list here. Ooh, look at this cool stuff. We got some Headhunter action. We got a little bit of Assassin action. Some of that adventure sci-fi going on today. So, let me see here. That Jimmy doesn't really help us out on too many units. Let's start off by bringing our towel. Um, of course, we're going to go with the Mecha Timmy here. Not as many of us have that Ink and Craig and a 5 cost versus a 4 cost. Mecha Timmy, even though Ink and Craig can just slaughter a line of characters, Mecha Timmy for us is definitely going to offer a little bit more field staying power. Uh, if that Ink and Craig doesn't target our Mecha Timmy, I suppose that is. We'll be alright there, I think, Cakers. Let's go also with the Medicine Woman Sharon here. The 3 drop Imp Twerk definitely would do well with some of the units on the field, speeding them up if you want to pair them with that Starvin' Marvin, maybe some of your weenies, uh, maybe that Mimsy down on the bottom. Warboy Twerk would definitely help out there, but Sharon Heals are going to do us well also. Now, Aerostorm can target us there, and of course... Poison can target there if you're trying to cluster and get that share and heals working. But um, again, those are bridges we'll cross as we get to them, Kakers. Uh, looks like Nathan for our team over the Starvin' Marvin. We already got one headhunter we're choosing on the bottom there. Let's go ahead and use a range unit to help that headhunter out along the way. Um, now we've got some circle charges in here. I see that, and a hanky would be nice there for some of these circle charges, but um, we have uh, units right down there on the bottom that are gonna need some rats at their heels while they try to headhunt and clip away at your new kid. So I'm gonna use those rats for the Mimsy or for the Big Gay Al. Uh, now here I can see we have a choice of Kale or Windy, and then just below we have a choice of Kale or Bebe. Um, I think that the Bounty Hunter Kyle is going to outweigh the Gunslinger Kyle. And because we definitely, definitely don't want to double up our Kyles, we'll go ahead and use that Captain Windy who has a nice triple shot charge and can ca cast some damage out there on the field herself. Um, let me see the weens here. Just a few boxes left to go. Um, I like Sally for the cost, but I suppose we'll go with Deckham Butters for the heal. Uh, but I do like Sally for the cost. We're definitely staying away from mind control this week. We are using that Arrow Storm. Um, no, Smuggler Ike isn't going to have time to set up. We don't really have a uh, tank to protect him. And we have units that can get on top of him and stop him fast. We have Arrow Storm. Uh, nope, I'm going to take that energy advantage trade here when my opponent uses Arrow Storm on the ween. We definitely need Smuggler Ike here. Um, Gizmo Ike is not going to run effective with the units that he has in front of him for protection here. We're not going to be able to set up enough Gizmo Ike to make him work. I'm also a fan of the Mimsy here, rather than the Big Gay Al. And do I need Lightning Bolt to take down one particular card? I don't believe so. Mecha Timmy could be that card. But I believe we are going to go with the High Functioning Poison here to see if we can get some more damage on those units rather than damage on one unit. Arrow Storm combined with Poison might save our life this week. So Kickers, that's the deck set up. Um, again, we go with the towel over Enforcer Jimmy, Mecha Timmy. We're choosing the heels with Sharon, the Nathan throwing the bombs. We like the rats. The uh, Captain Windy there is going to serve us well, especially not doubling up the two Kales. Um, I would prefer to go with Sally for the energy, to be honest, but uh, the team definitely likes the heel factor, so we'll stay with the heels. Uh, we're going with Bounty Hunter Kale, obviously Pew Pew Pew, 
that uh, Robo Baby can get sped up, but I don't believe she's going to have enough units in front of her unless people are silly and send out something like a Gizmo Ike times three, you know, something like that. But uh, Pew Pew over the Bay Bay for sure. We're going Aerostorm, and we like the Smuggler Ike not only for energy efficiency, but uh, again. Gizmo Ike doesn't have a setup this week. He won't have a lot of cards he can position himself behind unless you full field Mimsy. You know, stick Mimsy behind your new kid, start running Ikes behind that Mimsy. That's about the only thing I could see here, but that poison comes right out, that arrow storm comes right out, and uh, they put a stop to all that havoc. So we're going Mimsy over Big Gay Al. Mimsy will uh, stay on new kid, more health, and uh, will provide. A little bit more damage in my opinion and of course we're going with the poison here over the arrows or over the lightning bolt uh, lightning bolt doesn't seem to have an effective target this week um, Nathan Mecha Timmy might be some of the folks you'd consider maybe even a Sharon I suppose but uh, I believe the poison will come into effect there and help us out along the way so kickers make them choices build that deck and get out there and enjoy your team wars this week have you some fun earn those nectars and uh, we'll see you when we see you at that time but until then kickers rusty whore always tell you don't forget to bring your towel definitely definitely come back see me on the flip side let's do that powwow much love much cake to each and every one of you out there and until that next time rusty whore always tell you peace 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 peace, peace.